<laughs> so let us uh, let me give you like um, I don't know if you were here in the beginning. We I, I did the collection like uh, of okay we we want to get resources from curators, obviously people who have started the the, the transdisciplinary field of token engineering, crypto economics, really interesting people who have literally a lot of transdisciplinary know know how they be comfortable and so on and so forth. Then people like me who came in later on and then also uh, hit the ground running because so many things really resonate and and we're onto something here. Uh, uh, with Web3, this whole self-sovereign uh, individuals govern well together. Like there's so many, uh, so 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 much potential in this. Uh, but anyways, getting number one, getting the curation from the OGs, from people who've been uh, a long time uh, around, is really hard because of time and so on and so forth. And also. I myself, I literally thought I knew what I'm going to put in there and uh, having to choose a few of what you read <laughs> or what has helped you or figuring out which ones is really, really hard. So I was, I'm hoping that maybe we focused now on, on the core of this consilience library, which is this consilience space. And I hope this will now give you also more more um, idea what is the terrain um, because this is the core like this transdisciplinarity this is what we want to establish and then uh, maybe we can jam around okay what could we how could we already use the the art or or use the input of the curators um, in infuse that with, with art or, or you know create some emblems, symbols, some things that actually speak to people visually, audio, we are audiovisual. Anything yeah. that, that captures, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think that the most valuable thing about this kind of, I don't know how to call it, you know, like art or, uh, is, is the way it, it is made because it, it, it's following the, the the same patterns in, I can see, I can observe in nature. If, if, we, if we could apply that to our systems, you know, we, we will have a, a really good result and a, a time for escalating whatever system we want to, to create. Uh, uh, so, so I think that is the most important part of this kind of uh, mm -hmm. project because you can create literally, literally whatever. Like it's an infinite possibilities with the same three movements, right? So it's it's which uh, which are <laughs> it's just emerging displacement and rotation. Right, is cool. what we, we what we see in in nature everywhere. All the systems are doing the same thing exactly. So I'm just copying nature, <laughs> just copying nature, and and, and it, it is also applied on on my music, and mm -hmm. is is following the fractal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're connecting here. So, yeah, so that basically you. in in all of Omega or or that is emerging. That we really want to figure this out, and we want to just have those points, as you say, that help in coordination. But let the 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 realm, which is transdisciplinary, which Literally, Web3 is uh, in itself out there. It's very chaotic, but it's also where systems are being uh, redesigned, rethought, because the technology allows that. But then a horde of people are coming in and they're like, okay, let's do business as usual. And then we have this uh, 
Web2 platform and platform businesses that suck out every participant literally out of this uh, decentralized self-sovereignty giving and, and collaborative and, and cooperative potential. Literally, they go back to these platforms uh, like OpenSea and so on. Um, and one reason, um, uh, like one obvious, uh, there are many, but one obvious is that we just don't know how to handle uh, agency anymore. <laughs> uh, right? Uh, crypto economics, token engineering is really, it still blows my mind. And I'm a computer scientist. I studied peer to peer <laughs> protocol design. Uh, but still, it's, um, it has done uh, something that um, Thomas Kuhn, uh, Peter Drucker, they talk about this paradigm shift. You look at the same thing, but all of a sudden you can see something different. Not because uh, the technology or what is there that you're looking at changed a lot, but actually your, your mindset also shifts. So literally, Omega is about what's this new mindset that we, <laughs> that we should go out and get ourselves. And it's just an intuition that uh, the answer is out there in nature and it's very natural. It's just we are out coming out of this factory industry systems, our education system, our entire organization is like uh, factory lines. And all we learn or all we are optimized for is consumption. You know, work hard, <laughs> play hard. <laughs> uh, and you know, at some point, um, or, or no, we know where that leads, obviously. So with all these systems thinking, machine learning, blockchain, uh, and the ability to actually connect with uh, any people across the globe, uh, and and jam creatively like we do here. Th this is now the you know we're looking at the same picture, but we need a new mindset shift uh, or a new mind, <laughs> or maybe as Satori says, mandala of minds, right? To to actually uh, make the best or or make what we need out of this. Yeah, Big, huge, but with the with the token engineering consensus library, we have the opportunity to actually focus this potential onto a very uh, concrete thing, a library. And all we want is not to do business as usual, you know, not to come up with a list of creation, uh, people, uh, their profile, why they're so great uh, or why the organization is so great and why these are the best things that you should be reading, but actually really mesh it and, and mix it and exchange the essence, literally. Mull it over and over and over with every curation, with every person interacting with the library, with every edition, there should be a new signal coming in, making this interesting for others to connect. Sorry, uh, Steph, go ahead. Yeah, I, I kind of like uh, found it very nice what uh, within the vacuum was saying, like he mentioned these kind of three principles of nature, like emergence, displacement and rotation, if I remember correctly. Immediately there I started to see like what I had in mind with, uh, when we were talking about the navigation of this kind of website, like how to build it in this mm -hmm. kind of 3D sphere. And then it was like technically becoming kind of difficult. So it was Blender or other things that we were looking into. And then it's like, for me, it was like technically too overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And that's again what I see with this kind of like a collective curation template for persons that are encountering the material or when my Chromebook gets like toasted on like memory loops from the Concilian's uh, Figma board of like, no, it's mm -hmm. getting to this point where nature is too much to handle because it doesn't really, you know, it proliferates, it's, it has a kind of efficiency of proliferation. So then maybe to see this kind of three principles as a kind of a guiding or sort of navigation, which is always something in emergence. By emergence, it's displacing and it's in a constant rotation. So it constantly affects yeah. a perspective shift or a tilt. We can never really see the same thing twice. At the same time, it needs to be kind of workable. So 
maybe if it's uh, this collective curation thing, I had in mind something like type forms, or like yacht forms, where you just get one question at a time. You see, like, you know, this kind of survey kind of style, where you see something mm -hmm. that appears, but you don't get the whole thing in once. Like, you just kind of mm -hmm. deal with little bits of information which are digestible. And then depending on those choices, it kind of navigates you through. Like, I don't know yet, like, I just see this as a kind of, like, possibility of working with a more simple form, which then allows for a huge complexity. Yeah, and it's actually what, what is most interesting about that is the, the rotation is, is three-dimensional. Right, it's it's like mm -hmm. like a like a torus. So the, it doesn't it doesn't matter how complex the structure gets, it always ha has a connection and has access to the emerging point of it. Mm. So yeah, it's it's a little bit like that. Okay. I, I, 